Hey everyone, it's TJ with Avidyne. Um, in the following video, we're going to discuss the main inputs configuration page in maintenance mode. Um, the biggest thing about this config page is this can really be used to help us troubleshoot our installation a little bit. So <clears throat> here's where we can see a lot of the information that's coming into the IFD. Um, there's not a lot populated here because in this scenario, the IFD is not really connected to anything, but um, typically, you know, if you were connected to an, an Aspen or even an Avidyne Integra or some, some other type of EFA system, this is where you'd be able to see um, OAT, outside air temperature, static air temperature, uh, total air temperature, indicated airspeed, true airspeed, wind speed, there's a spot for heading, wind direction, um, this SC setting, this is GPS selected course. So this would be the selected course, uh, you know, analog selected course coming in via um, the analog inputs on the main connector. Um, VLOC selected course, this would be selected course information coming in via the P1006 NAV connector. Uh, CDI selection, that just tells us what, what position we have this knob up here in. Um, <clears throat> Then we've got barrel corrected altitude, density altitude, pressure altitude, and then joystick waypoint info. Very seldom is anything going to populate the joystick waypoint info, but um, this really is a, a really useful place to go uh, just for, like I said, troubleshooting your installation or making sure that, you know, valid data is getting to the IFD from an external source. This is where those, those data points are going to show up. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.